Hello everybody! So today we are going to be delving into a new release that I'm really really excited about which is Kim Chi and Naomi Small's collab. They came out with a eyeshadow palette, they came out with a blush and highlight palette, and they came out with two eyeshadow toppers. So I am so 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 excited. I have foundation on and I have my brows on. Other than that, I'm clean. So, I'm going to show you what comes in this collab. So first is the Mad Maxine Suit Yourself Two Queens in One Desert eyeshadow palette. This is the packaging. Here's the palette. And then you open it up. There they are. Look how beautiful they look. And this is the palette. Look how beautiful. I'm so excited. So this here is the blush palette, blush and highlight palette. So one side is kimchi and the other is Naomi. Really, really cute packaging. I, I absolutely love it. And then when you open it up, you have two blushes and you have two highlights. I swatched this highlight if you see that. I had to. It's beautiful. I had to see what it looked like. I'm really, really excited. And then last but not least, we have the, the glitter eyeshadows. They come in this packaging. Again, beautiful. This one is Pink Shower. And this one is Femme Top. I mean, just like absolutely gorgeous. So I am going to start with the blush and highlight. I'm really excited. I think a lot of you sh should know that blush is like one of my favorite favorite parts of makeup. So I'm going to take my brush and we're going to dip into Sunkissed, which is Kim Chi's blush right here. And I'm just going to apply it how I normally would. how pretty. I love how pretty that is. And you know, I do think that it is kind of difficult to make a pink that is a universal shade, like that looks good across a lot of skin tones. And the pigment of this blush is great because you can build it up, like if you're a darker skin complexion, or you can leave it on the sheer side if you're a lighter skin complexion like me. So, so cute. So I'm gonna use June, which is Naomi Small's blush, and I'm going to kind of mix them a little bit, tap it off, and I'm going to kind of bring warmth around my face a little bit. Next, we are going to go in with highlight. So I'm going to use Kim Chi's highlight, which is called Afternoon Glisten. It's this shade. Although, I think... I'm going to swatch both for you. I f definitely could use both. So this one is Kim Chi's, which is Afternoon Glisten, and then this one is Naomi Small's, which is Highest Point. I think I might use Naomi's today. Maybe I'll do a base of Naomi and then do like um, a thin strip of Kim Chi's. Do it on this side first. <gasps> That's blinding. <laughs> That's a lot. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. Put it right on my nose. Oh my god. I'm like obsessed. Oh my god. This is gorgeous. <gasps> I'm gonna dip into Kim Chi's just a little bit and tap it off. And just kind of tap it on and see. I'm not used to using highlighter this pigmented. I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna bring some up here. I like to, I like to look glowy. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you in now and we're gonna get started on the eyeshadow. Okay, I'm going to get some eyeshadow primer and blend that out. Okay, here is the palette. I'm going to take the shade Highland Avenue which is this shade, and I'm going to use that to set my primer. So I'm going to take my favorite little fluffy angled brush, and I'm just going to run that and set this primer. Okay. 
And it also works as my transition shade, which is great. So I think I'm gonna play with the blues and purples. Yeah. I think so. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with the shade Beaver Tail, which is this purple. And I'm going to blend that into my crease and really like buff that outwards. This is really pigmented and I love it. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Next I'm going to take the shade 6PM Sky, which is this blue. It's like bright royal blue. And I'm just going to dip this edge into it and I'm going to focus this on just my crease, like just right in my crease. Actually, I'm going to actually blend it. I'm going to blend it up a little bit. I do want there to be difference between the pink and blue or the purple and the blue, but I do think I'm going to do a gradient of like black, blue, and then like that pinky purple. And then I'm going to do a cut crease, I think, and play with the glitters. So I'm probably going to forward past this part because it's going to be a lot of blending for now. So I'm probably, I'm going to be going back and forth into the purple and the blue, blending it and really trying to get a gradient. So I'm probably going to have to like speed through this, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm going back and forth and um, trying to really, really blend this well. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do next is kind of create the shape of the cut crease that I want with a Q-tip. So I'm going to just kind of wipe away some of the pigment, kind of give myself a guideline of the shape I want. So that's like the general shape. I'm going to put the palette aside for now and grab some concealer. I'm going to put some on my hand and I'm going to try with a brush like this. Take some concealer and see if I can really focus on this shape. Kind of like that. And I think what I'm going to do is take a highlighter shade with my finger and tap that on the lid to set that concealer. Because I'm not planning to add pigment to the cut part. So then with my color here, I'm going to kind of blend that edge out just a little bit. So this is the idea. I'm gonna do it on the other side now. By the way, the highlight I took was Kim Chi's Afternoon Glisten shade. This is where we are at. So I think next. I am going to take black eyeliner and do a wing. So I'm going to forward through that, but I'm just going to do a wing, a normal wing eyeliner. After doing that, I do want to add a little bit more concealer just in this part. 
like cut here just a little bit more so I can have that definition there with my hooded eyes going in with the highlight again I like that better maybe even buffing it out a little bit more here because what I'm wanting to do is take one of these shades and then do a glitter liner going up so I do want that to be very clean sharp I'm gonna take another brush and pat the highlight in that shape I like this it's very like um, Egyptian I don't know why it's reminding me of very like an Egyptian type thing so before I do liner on the other side I'm going to try to recreate that shape I think that's about even. It's cool though, like you can see my kind of creative process, like what my idea is and then kind of how it evolves. Before we move on to the glitter liner I want to do. I think I'm going to take a little blending brush and go into that highlight again and just blend it under my brow because I'm I'm kind of done now with the top. So I am going to just kind of blend it lightly right under my brow and in my inner corner. So what I was thinking, well I was thinking to do this and kind of line it in that like line going up but I don't know if it's going to blend in too much. I don't know, I think I might leave the top like this. So I think I am going to not use the glitter like I wanted to. I wanted to do a glitter liner kind of in between this cut out portion and the top, but I really like how this like negative space looks. I like this because it's like a, a dramatic look, but it's not too dramatic and I just feel like if I added the glitter, it wouldn't give me the the pop that I want there, so I might, because I like the way it looks now, so I think I'm going to put on top lashes, like top mascara, and then play around with the bottom lash line. This is with lashes. Yeah, I'm happy I didn't do that glitter. So I'm gonna take this Koki Champagne eyeliner and I'm gonna rub this in my waterline on the bottom. To brighten up underneath. So I think I'm gonna take a neutral shade and I think I'm gonna go in with Savannah, which is this shade right here. And I think I'm just going to kind of blend it on the bottom lash line just to add some definition to kind of lift my eye up a little bit and just kind of like make it a little bit more cohesive. So I'm just going to do it on the outer corner and I'm going to brush it kind of under my wing there. Yeah. Do you see the difference how this is like a little bit more dramatic and that's like basic. going to do lashes on the bottom, which I rarely do, but I'm going to do it here. Okay, that's the finished look. So when I look straight ahead, it looks like this. And then when I close my eyes, you can really see like that extra, extra stuff. So I'm going to use my foundation brush and just kind of blend any of that excess concealer. I'm going to zoom you out. I'm going to throw on a little bit of nude gloss just for something, but... Not anything that's going to clash with my eyes. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? So yeah, this is a lot more dramatic of a look than usual. I felt really inspired by this palette. I mean, how can you look at this palette and not want to do something different and creative? 
I mean, there is so much possibility here for neutral looks, bright artistic looks, and I'm really, really excited to play more with this. The greens, the yellows, I just, this palette is beautiful. The shades that I used today, they had no fallout. They were beautifully pigmented. I mean, I have no fallout whatsoever. They were beautifully pigmented and they blended out like a dream. We all know how I feel about formulas that, you know, when you first put on, they're more diffused, but then you can build them up. I love that versatility. And this definitely has that. This is probably my favorite look that I've done in a long, long time. There's just something like Egyptian about it that I kind of like the shape of it. So yes, I am in love with this palette. I loved Kim Chi's last palette and I'm really, really excited to have this one. As I said, there's so much potential here for really interesting, cool looks. And also this is like a really good everyday palette. There's so many neutral shades in here that you could definitely utilize this on a daily basis. Moving on to the blush and highlight palette. Clearly, you know how I feel about this. The blush is gorgeous. It's like a very beautiful, like, baby doll pink. Really, really pretty. Natural blush. And the highlighters are just stunning. Stunning. Whether you use them on your eyes or you use them on your face, they are gorgeous. And then, you know, I'm, I'm a little bummed that I didn't use the new glitters, but I will. <laughs> I, I have a lot to play around with from Kim Chi, so... I can definitely do like another video on those, but I just didn't feel like it would work with this look. But I'm really, really excited with how this turned out. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you'd like to see another look with this palette, or if you'd like a tutorial of a look in this with this palette. Yeah. So, I love you guys. I hope you're doing well. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.